Danny Manning has inserted the big man from Nigeria, Ikenna Smart. It's still Jalen Horde taking the tap, though, and Charlotte knocks it out of bounds. This is the ball, another turnover. No shot attempt so far for the Demon Deacons. Davis feeds the post inside the bucket. Good for Milos Supica. That mid-range jumper, and also you saw the high ball screen roll to the basket and finish. Straight away, Horde can't connect. Martin on the bounce the other way. Nobody stopped him. Push the ball down your throat and get a basket. Wick with its first lead as well. Feeding it inside. Nice little dive cut, but a better block. Then you get the, uh, the, the travel, actually, no turnover. Bad entry pass. Martin just didn't handle it inside. Saar, he's rejected by Manga. Too strong off the glass for Supica. Supica had a nice inside out look that time. Didn't hold the ball. Good transition basket. They just got the license, so they're, they're young. They don't understand what's going on. Inside out, that's nice. McGill can't connect. Inside, rebound and stick back for Haslam. Bumped into a couple of guys tonight at the next level that are definitely interested in young Mr. Horde. Athletic, long arms, can run. Tory Johnson knocks down the jumper. The reverse eventually have to turn over. Davis went flying through the lane, came up empty. At the other wow. end, great block by Haslam. Charlotte seems to be the night. Then you've got to make certain that you're getting some good shots and you and you really play a lot of that pack line defense. That's a good shot. There it is, Jalen Haslam inside to OKK. Sean D. Brown into the contact, no call, gets it back. Shot clock did not reset. He'll take it and make it. The drive will get a little closer. It's cold outside, it's cold inside too. One yeah, team's four for 12, the other's four of 16. Childress in transition for two. Nice play by Brandon. A couple days from now, there'll okay. be snow here in Winston. All right, all right. Sean D. Brown, nice pass. Johnson, got it! Very nice. Not able to score, not stopping, putting them at the free throw line. That's a nice pass. Finish it. Manga disturbed by the shot blockers. Ahead, in and out for Saar. Manga was not accustomed to seeing the other guys his size when he was at Roxbury Pearson. Nice drive and score. First field goal for Davis. Hoare looking for his first bucket. Shawnee Brown finds himself too far underneath. Musius up and under wow. for two. And, and something else too, there's not really that physical player. That guy that's a banger inside that can kind of get you some scoop baskets. Beautiful move Shundee by Sean D. Yeah. Brown. Mark. Off the back rim. Rebound, though, for Younger. Davis to Younger. Spots up. Buries it. Four, four of their last seven opponents. And so if you can rebound, you can control some of the tempo of the game. There you go. The stick back from Isaiah Musius. Jerron Wright, Jr. will take us to a timeout. Isaiah Musius coming off the bench has given the Deeks some. Danny Manning's counting on him to be a double figure yeah. scorer, averaging nine a game so far. Here's a double figure score. Jalen Horde has his first bucket of the night. Let's see if he gets his hand on a rebound or something. Went for the block. Pretty good ball movement. Younger, loose with a dribble. Wild shot goes for him. I'm telling you. And if you're Charlotte, you got to score better, you got to protect the basketball better, and you definitely have to defend. Deeks go right to Jalen Horde, and he goes right to work. Seven games into his freshman season. Davis feeds it inside for Supica. Supica not the only Serbian on this Charlotte roster. Luka Vasic tore his ACL over the summer. He's out for the year. Why don't you have the basketball? Are you lazy? Are you playing in the, within the system? Wake no. turns it over. You know, it's like that old joke about kids say sometimes, Coach, I'm wide open. <laughs> it's, a, it's a painful boo-boo right there. Yeah, you got to learn the lesson the hard way sometimes. Horde led to the bucket, spins, scores. As opposed to trying to force the long-range jump shots. And, and to me, that's that's one of the tests of a small, smart player. And then you've got a guy that's moving without the ball. Sean D is in double figures with 11 points. You know, he had a nice game. <laughs> That's good offensive execution. Right. Now you got to be patient if you wake for us now. Olivier saw. That's, That's his good. shot. 
what what we talk about all the time. They got some stops. They got some easy baskets. Davis was able to knock down a couple three pointers, and, and they, everything was. Good. And plus, they were playing at home. This has got to make him feel good. Layup would not fall for Charlotte. Brown pushes the tempo ahead. Sar missed the dunk, and then it went in for him. Wake by 21. Scored the last seven points of the game. Davis zips it to the corner for Mangum for three. Losing leads at home, the Houston Baptist game. Wake led by 14 with about eight minutes, nine minutes to go. Here's their corner three for Musius. Rebound for Martin. Davis fakes it, takes it, makes it. Nice. Charlotte showing some zone after the timeout. Johnson dribbles through it. And Musia sticks it back in. Quick off the floor, good hands inside. Four deeks and double figures on a night where they only have 55 points as Mangum gets the stuff. Should probably end up averaging somewhere between 10. He's averaging like a little under 10 now. About 10 to 13, 14 points a ball game. The hard nights of shooting and the extra turnovers. It's not going to happen overnight. That's the thing that I think so many people in this day and time forget. Nice inside play. I like the way you put it. <laughs> yeah. Because you got to learn oh, from your lumps. I said, I'm not a trendsetter now. <laughs> you got to learn, though. You know, you're going to have to fill the void of Davis, obviously. And, and you've got some inside guys, some perimeter guys that can play. And I think they've signed a couple of kids that uh, they're going to be able to help. And, and, but the difference, one of the differences, and, and it's not making excuses, it's reality, is that, you know, Henry was a great player, rest in peace, but he's not going to be on the sideline. He hasn't attempted a three in his previous three games before tonight. He hasn't made one since the St. Joe's game on November 15th. Gets to the basket, and again, he's a, he's a young kid. He's going to get better. Sar puts there it on you the go. floor and throws it down. See, he learned that time to get up and finish. He's very active. We see a one dribble flush this time. The long jump shot in the corner. Fake it. Make it. Jam it home. Probably vous front set. And it's a big time play because he hasn't had a play like that this year. Maybe in his career for the Deeks game of the season down at, at Myrtle Beach but to, to have a power play like that, that that can give him a lot of confidence that hey this is what you can do feeling to go into the exam break extra pass Johnson Saar inside nice. chance for three Big fella. I think you've got to do if you're Wake Forest and I know it's a cliche but you have to be able to give it every game they're gonna to have to play 110% and then it becomes easier. You know what I taught? You never believe what I taught when I was a high school coach, teacher. You know what, what, you know what, what did you teach? You know what I teach? You know what I taught? English? I did. You would never know it. Oh. Hear me talk. Oh, I don't know what kind of kid he was. I mean, we had a little bitty basketball league, you know? Okay. And the kid, my team would coach him on Saturday morning. They had their own team, had their own league. I just come and sit around, didn't do anything. I'm just going to let that punchline sit right there. Oh, dear, true. I didn't have, I didn't necessarily, I was teaching them, so I didn't have necessarily the kids that were going to read. But here's what I'm saying. What was I talking about? Oh, being like Walton? Man. I love Bill Walton. You know him, I, yeah. He's the best. In that case, you can see it. Anthony Billis, one of Anthony Billis' dad's teammates I talked to is a good friend of mine, longtime buddy, David Henderson. 80 to 56 is the final. Good luck on exams, Deacons. 49ers, happy holidays, everyone. We'll see you soon.